The Ecuadorian Ministry of Defense has announced the establishment of the new Security Cooperation Office in Ecuador. The ministry was careful to stress that the new entity would not violate the country's constitution, which was amended under former President Rafael Correa to ban the permanent presence of foreign troops in Ecuador. The announcement made by the Minister of Defense was a surprise for us. We didn't know anything about it. We are open to dialogue with any other country, not only the United States, to reinforce security measures in the borderline. The Defense Ministry also says there will be a special plane that will fly between Ecuador and the United States, which will be used to gather and share intelligence. It will stay for three or four days and then return. The ministry stressed it. it doesn't mean that a new military base is being established. We are talking about an airplane that will gather special information. The airplane staff will have to sleep in a specific place. I don't think they will stay in a hotel. Most likely, they will stay in an Ecuadorian military base. The ministry pointed they are working with different countries at Japan, France, Spain and China to strengthen bilateral relations to protect the country. However, several authorities have raised concerns about the decision taken by President Lenin Moreno. Minute by minute, the nation and the region's security is at risk because of the presence of U.S. military troops. All of the past events occurred in a way to justify the U.S. embassy intervention, the visit of the political figures, and the visit of the highest U.S. officials to Ecuador. This decision comes after U.S. Vice President Mike Pence's visit. In June, decisions taken included not only discussions regarding expanded U.S. security, assistance, and commercial ties, but also a consideration of a possible future bilateral trade agreement between the two countries. Denise Herrera, Telesur, Ecuador.